Hello, everyone. If you're watching the replay, uh, let me just make sure we are live on the live part. Thanks for coming and watching. If you're watching the replay, you can sometimes uh, skip the very beginning part or watch and fast forward. Okay, we are live on Facebook. I just got my notification that I'm live. Hello, everybody. So today we have a double feature. Uh, after class today, I'm going to be opening viewer mail. I don't have a lot of viewer mail this time. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. There's some viewer mail I have, and I have another package I'll probably open too. Um, so welcome everybody. I still don't have confirmation that I'm live on YouTube. So if you guys are on YouTube, tell me, ooh, -hoo, we are live. Okay, thanks guys for letting me know we're live. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby's Paper Crafts is my uh, cheerleader in the morning. And um, Jamie is a good helper and Charmaine. You guys all, I, I can't list everybody, Joan and Sue and Sue. And everybody who's here before the chat, we usually have a lot of fun. Hello, Lynn and Lori Camper. Um, I just want to say hi to everybody. You guys are amazing. Um, and we are also live on Facebook at Melody Lane Designs Facebook page and on Twitch at Melody Lane 815. So, but the chat that you see in the video right now is all from YouTube. So if you want to see your chat in uh, the video, you have to come to youtube.com slash Melody Lane. Click on my live video. If I'm not live, you won't see the, you won't be able to chat. All right, we do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern. Every Saturday morning, 11, 8. Yeah, that's the right time. Hi, guys. Um, and let's go. Let me do this really fast because these people are very important to me. And I just have to do this. I want to give a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Barbara, Glenda, Lori, Sue, Charmaine, Lena, Lisa, Anissa, Sandra, Denise, Dawn, Robin, Bobby, Teresa, Laura, Kathy, Amy, Catherine, Leticia, Vicki, Iris, Leilani, Tammy, Annie, Christine, Maria, Merritt, Tammy, Vivian, Darlene, Terry, Kiona, Erica, Jean, Sonia, Deborah, Carrie, Leticia, Trisha, Kim, Patricia, Wendy, Terry, Sandy, Carol, Amanda, Kathy Ann, uh, and Alicia. Thanks, guys. And thank you. A big shout out to my co-sponsors. You guys are amazing. Okay. I also want to say hi to you guys on Facebook. Good morning, Deborah, Carol, Gary, Barb, Sherry, Daniel, Alicia, Kathy. Um, thanks guys for joining me on Facebook too. I do see your comments. So if you guys have questions about anything I'm doing today, please, uh, put them in all caps so I can find them and they may be answered by some people in the chat. If I have so many people here that don't need these classes because they've watched all my other classes, but they're here to help you guys. So I, I seriously have the best community. Uh, I love you guys. And, um, it's Groundhog Day, so I was going to make a little cricket guy coming out of the ground, and he doesn't see his shadow here in Florida because there's no sunshine today. So I was going to do that earlier today, and I got busy, and I didn't get it done. So in the chat beforehand, I said, should I just make it live? And everyone's like, yes. So we're going to do something else first, and then we will do that live. Um. So let's go to design space. Okay, so this, this is an image from the new Star Wars mystery box. If you didn't get the Star Wars mystery box, um, I have, um, 
a video showing what's in it. I do a reveal video showing you what's in it. Well, this was in it. This is was Star Wars. I think I kept some of them and I just, yeah. This is like Luke and I don't know who that was. And this was Chewbacca saying something else, but I changed it. And I thought, what a great way. I love this message thing that I can make it say what I want. I can add the people that I want. Um, so I just, I thought that was like, cool. So I'm like, I need to show you guys how to do that. So is this something you guys are interested in seeing? Um, so if you have the Star Wars mystery box, you have this image already. If you don't, you don't have this image, but um, you can probably make one something similar to it. Let's see where this came from. So I'm right clicking and it's not coming up. There it is. Um, down here, image info. Rebel Alliance gift card holder. So this is what it looks like beforehand. So we're going to bring that in. So this is what it looks like. This is like a little envelope and a card and stuff. So here's what I did. Um, I'm not a big Star Wars fan either, Kiona. Okay, let's get my mind back on this. Okay, this is the envelope. I'm, we're not using the envelope. I'm just doing this. If I ever want the envelope, I can always bring it back in. And that. Let's just get rid of these. Okay, so here it is. Now, what I did is first... Now, you can make circles and copy the circles and just lay them on top if you want to. But what I did is I went down to contour, and you can't see that. Let me put this back down. Hold on. We're getting there. Okay. I just want you guys to be able to see everything. Okay. So I have this selected, and I'm going to hit contour. I am going to get rid of this line here. This is blurry because it's so small. It's just a small image. So now that is there. Now I could put anybody's picture in I wanted to. All you have to do is click upload. Um, pattern fill. And then you can browse the image that you want to put in. I'm not going to actually do it. It's... Um, just really easy. You just browse it. It does take a few minutes for the picture to actually get in. So now I have this and we want to change it to print. Now, if you did not know, Design Space has been updated. To change something to print, you can't do it over here. You have to go up to where it says fill and it says no fill. We're going to change it to print and then we're going to click over here to the little square and we can choose our color. Now, I don't want a color, I want a picture, so I'm going to choose pattern. Now here I uh, uploaded Lori Nunamaker's um, picture. Here, I'll make one of my son. So now my son's picture is in here. Let me zoom in. And I don't even need to edit this one. Like that is just perfect. Um, if I did need to edit, I could edit the pattern right here. And I can, up, you can he has beard ornaments in. At Christmas, he puts ornaments in his beard. Um, you can rotate and uh, make it bigger or smaller if needed be. And I don't need it to be. So that will go right in here. I kept it the same size and everything, so we don't need to size that. But I want to change this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it over here. 
just so we have room on our own. When we click on this, we see this is attached. We have draw and cut. So we're going to detach. You always know it's attached when you see the word detach here. I'll raise that up a little. So I'm gonna detach it. So now when I move it, these are separate. So now I wanna put my son's name in there. How am I gonna do that? Well, one option is to click on all these images that you don't want. And it makes it easier for me. I'm just gonna click on them over here. I don't wanna click these because these are the little circles. Not the arrow, probably this. Yeah. And probably these. If I do something that I'm not supposed to do, then I can always undo it again. It's really no big deal. Okay, this is part of the B. They, they did not even use fonts. These are like parts of letters. Okay, we're still missing that R. Right here, it looks like it's darker. Wonder if this, yeah. There we go. Let's look at it. Okay, we got rid of all that. So now we can add our own. So if we wanna add our own text, uh, I'm just gonna put Alex. And we're gonna move this down here. And since all that is writing, I'm gonna change this to writing. And this says draw up here now. And of course I can change the font and everything else. So what I wanna do is, so this is not connected to that at all. So you wanna select them both by dragging this mouse down there over it all and click attach. Now that is attached. And now let's place it back over here. We're gonna select them both by dragging that down over both and you can see what is selected over here and attach. So now we made um, all that and we can do that again. We can move this here. Now, what I did up here is um, I changed the pictures here the exact same way I did Alex here. And this one, I wanted to change what it said. So um, this is actually just grouped. But if we want it, are these drawing? Yeah, these are drawing. So I probably want to make this draw. But I didn't do writing style. Um, and then attach that. So if you want to change these, going to detach. You cannot click it and make new text, change the text. It's not made to do this, so you have to add new text. And, um, you know, write whatever you want and then change it to writing, just like I did there. Okay, so now I'm going to ask, are there any questions? Um, do Charmaine a favor and get 250 likes on this YouTube video. I got this image from Star Wars Mystery Box. Uh, yes, that's a really good point. If you are on a, the app, 
on the iPad or Android app, you cannot use patterns. The patterns will only work in Design Space computer. Uh, but if you want to use outside um, photo things, if you can make a circle and put a face in it, you can upload that picture, save it as a PNG, upload it, and then size it down to the size you want. So there are options if you're not on a computer. Um, I'm trying to read the questions. You cannot use this image without the mystery box yet. Um, it might, I don't know when these images will be released, but they will be released and then you can use this image. Um, you can uh, purchase the image on its own. But I thought these were so cute. Like you don't even have to use this like this. You can use these on a card or, you know, you can change it, say happy birthday. There are also other images in here. Uh, I don't want that. Let's search. What are those called? Uh, speech bubbles. Do you guys like how I talk to myself and ask myself questions and then I answer myself? I can't be the only one that does that, right? Okay. Here's some other speech bubbles. Are these new? I, I don't think I got the new images last week or this week. I don't know if I did. I'll have to check my email. These are fun. They're not quite like the ones in the Star Wars mystery box. They're not exactly like these. Um, how do you delete patterns? I have uploaded since the update. I don't see how to do it. Beth, thanks for asking. I have no clue. Let's find out together. Um, okay, I have to click on one. Let's click here. Um, hmm. I have two of these. I don't know how. I think you used to be able to right click it. I don't know yet how to do that. Um, let's bring that up again. Oh, I just changed that to white. Hmm. I don't see how to delete them yet. You cannot delete patterns, Jamie says. Uh, mystery box is something that Cricut sells, but I do a video to show you what's in it. And then I give you a link and discount code, but the digital mystery box, you don't get a discount code. Oh, the email you got are not all the new images. Those images are older. Can you change the border? Great question, George. Um, do you mean the border around this? You can change the color of this. Uh, if we click over here, we can change this. We can change that. Um, You can unlock the lock and you can change it and make it skinnier. But if you do that, you want to do that with all of these in there and select it and group together. So they're all, they will all fit the same size. Let's undo that. 
So if you put these all in here, it's going to change um, these from circles if you actually, okay, there. change it this way. See, those circles are no longer circles. So you really want to keep it the same. If you want to change the border, we can detach it. I don't know how you would really change that. You can change the color up here. You can use glitter pens. Make it pink. Uh, Joanna, I don't know what you mean. Why would we, why would you use parts versus font? Um, yeah, patterns do not show up in uploaded images. When you upload an image, you can only find them when you have a print image available. You have to click this little box here. This is the only place you can find patterns. can say there's a lot of patterns there they are tons of patterns a lot of them are included in access Oh, Joanna, uh, when you had to delete all those pieces of each letter, that was just the way the image was made. They didn't use a font to make that image. They used those pieces. That's just the way they made it. Okay, uh, do we want to do the Cricut Groundhog? Right. Okay, Jamie, I want to talk about what you're answering the question I didn't get. Um, I don't always see questions, but sometimes I see the answers. So I try to help everybody with that. So when you do a print and cut, I'm going to click on make it. So it's going to print out these little circles with the faces on it, and it's going to cut out each one. And this is not attached anymore because I detached it. This one is going to write on here and cut these out. It's going to cut those out. Cut that out. And then here it's going to cut this and then write on it also. And the same with these. It's going to cut and write these on it. Okay, we're going to go to new. I'm not saving all that. Um, so we want to do a Cricut scene, not seeing his shadow. Um, where am I going? Images. And we're going to search Cricut. Um, this is a new cartridge, guys. I made this with my Remy Cube, and I found... Uh, look at how cute these are. This is called Face It. 42 faces. Look, how cute. Okay, I know I get sidetracked. Look at all the eyes. This little Cricut, buddy. So cute. Okay, let's get back. Sorry. Okay, we want a little cricket guy. Um, all right, I want a cricket cutie. Oh, not all 
those cuties. And I want... Sorry. Where are the Cricut cuties? Okay, cartridges. Are they missing? There they are. Cricut cuties. Okay. Um, what does no shadow mean in Groundhog Day? I'm, I always forget. This is my favorite Cricut guy. Okay, we're going to do a circle because he's going to come from a hole in the ground. I'm going to unlock the circle. I'll move him over here. And probably make it like this. And we're going to move the circle behind. So we're going to click up here and go to Arrange, move to Back. and But I don't want his... I don't want to see all of him coming out. So I'm going to duplicate him just because I'm going to be changing him. Okay, spring is coming with no shadow. Uh, so if he sees the shadow, it's six more weeks of winter. That's it. Okay, so we're going to slice him to make it look like he's coming out of this hole. Uh, so in order to slice him, because he has all these layers, and you can only slice two layers at a time, we are going to ungroup him. And we're going to slice this one. So we need a shape to slice him with. And this is my knife. I usually use this. It doesn't need to be that big. And I'm going to duplicate it because we're going to be slicing a few times. And we're going to move that out of the way. Don't need it really that big either. Okay, so I'm going to click this one. I'm going to click my shift key. And I'm going to click this green part. So I have my square in, oh, excuse me, my little green guy here. And I'm going to click slice. Because I only have two selected, I can slice. And we're going to move all these pieces out of the way. Okay, so now we need to slice his body here. So we're going to stick this. And I'm going to duplicate it. I like to just keep one down here instead of having to go here and then go up there and find it. Okay. So now I'm going to select this. Hold down my shift key on my computer um keyboard and uh, we need the black part we're gonna cut clip that and now we can slice because we only have two images okay now move that out of the way it looks like pants doesn't it <laughs> we can make pants i get so sidetracked look cutie has pants on Okay, this we're gonna arrange to the back because anytime you slice or weld or cut, it brings it to the front. Look, he's got pants on. How cute is that? Let's make him blue. He's gonna wear some jeans. So cute. Okay, done playing. All right, so now we only have half his body. So I'm gonna select all those. And then we're going to group him back. So now he's back together. And I'm just going to hide him for now. So he's not needed. And now it looks like he's coming out of the ground. If we really want to look like... He probably needs a smaller hole. Do you want it? Oh, you know what? I need part of his body back, I think. Or the hole has to be smaller. Like, because you can only see. Oh, I got a better idea.
Okay, guys, we're going to do it again. Because I don't like that part not looking. Okay, we're going to make a new shaped knife. And I'm going to put this here, arrange this to the front. So we're going to slice this. So we're going to do this all over again. So if you missed any of that, that's how you can slice them and get a straight line at the bottom. But we're going to slice them a new way and get a rounded shape at the bottom. Okay, so let's bring that back. Let's delete all of this. That's not needed. This is going to be needed three times, I think. His knife. Let's call this the knife or the cookie cutter. And we got to bring this guy back in. So we're going to cut him again. Let me duplicate and hide. I always like to duplicate and hide in case I mess something up. Okay, so now, oh, you know what? I don't have the circle. I should have duplicated that circle that made this. Okay, if you guys missed it, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna bring in a circle and a square. We're gonna unlock the square and make it like the shape we want it. We are going to make it a little smaller. That'll be good. We're gonna duplicate it. Okay, so we have one up there. And now we're gonna use this one as the knife and slice that. Now we can throw these parts away. You guys, I do this all the time. Forget, and I'm like, oh man, I should have duplicated that. All right, let's do this one. See, that did not take long to remake our knife in the shape that we want. Okay, so we have to ungroup because we cannot slice that many pieces at once. So we're gonna bring the knife to the front and we're gonna do it about right there. I'm gonna slice, put this one right underneath there so we get it exact. I don't know if that really matters. Okay, so I'm going to hold down my shift key and I have this one selected and I'm gonna select the green Oh, no, that selected the pants or the hands. I'm going to see right here, I'm holding my shift and I'm clicking on this. So that selects the two layers and I'm going to click slice. Okay, so now we got to move this out of the way because we can't use that any longer. Move that out of the way. Now we have to slice the back piece. So I'm going to use my arrow keys and I'm moving this up. So I know that slice will be exactly like the other one. And I have to line it up right with that line. And I'm gonna hit my shift key and click on this one in the layers panel. So I only have two selected and if we're not sure, we always know we only have two if the slice is lit up. If the slice is grayed out like this contour is, then we need to look in the layers panel and find out why. So we're gonna slice and move this to the back, get rid of his pants, there we go. So let's get rid of, well, wait a minute. This we're gonna keep just in case we need that. There, and I'm gonna make that darker. Now he's coming out of a circle. How cute is that? I'm gonna group that. He's not perfect though. there group okay let's add some grass so it looks like he's coming out of a hole in the ground um we are going to search images and search grass yes i hold down the shift key because then i can click on just certain images and not select them all 
Thanks, Angela, for answering. Thanks, everyone, for answering so much. Maybe that one. What is that one? Earth Day is Earth Day. Is that new? Or did we have that one? Look at all the grass. I love grass. I like making little images with grass. Uh, I don't know. I like to change them up. Flip it. I don't know if it's the same or not. So it kind of looks like he's coming out of grass. I like this butterfly, but not connected to the grass because I want them two different colors. So I can contour out the grass. Just have the butterfly. And then I'm going to click contour and click on the butterfly. Let's just do hide all and then we'll bring that back. It's much easier. And let's change this to grass color. Let's do that one. And what color for the butterfly? Orange. Isn't that cute? There's no shadow. Okay, did anybody learn anything today so far? Couldn't you use longer grass and curve it? Um, I don't know how you could curve it. I like this one. And I could flip it. I think I need to change that color. Show how to make the shadow. But there's no shadow, Bobby. I don't know, Bobby. What are your ideas on the shadow? Let's see. Making me do something I don't know how to do yet. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's do it back here. Orange, send to the back. Is that a shadow? That could be the shadow. Let's make it a little lighter. Does that work for a shadow, Bobby? Make the long grass yellow. Well, let's do, let's move this down to yellow. I'm reading your chat, you guys. I'm just doing what you're saying. Stretching it out. Oh, we're used to talking about stretching that out, but I kind of like the grass stretched out too. Oh, stretch out the shadow. I gotcha. Okay, I need to move it all lower. Kind of want to make it there. Is that his shadow? Welcome, Dora, new member.
And then you can move this, whoops, I didn't mean to move him. Move the shadow. Oh, you could probably do this too. Like, depending on where the sun is. How's that? Uh, Christine, she says, would this be for print and cut? Or would you use this for adhesive vinyl? You could do anything you want. You can do, if you wanted, okay, as it is, you could do vinyl, you could do cardstock, and if you selected it all and flattened, then it would be print and cut. Isn't it cute? Okay, um, I'm going to, I'll make him a little smaller. He's not, I didn't make him print though. But if I wanted to make him print, I could change him to print right there. And then it's actually prettier. Uh, let's add some text. Happy ground hog day. Is it one word or two? Am I, groundhog, that's probably one word, isn't it? You guys will let me know. Uh, I don't want it to write. I just want it regular. Wait, I just saw a cute one. Mm, no. No butterflies. <laughs> Review print and cut, please. Okay. All I did was flatten it, and it changes it to print. Is groundhog one word? One word, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. My fingers were just typing it wrong. Sometimes my fingers have a mind of their own. So we're going to move these letters together. And we are going to center. And we're going to move this spaces between the letters together and let's just do negative five okay that's fine oh yeah no butterfly i guess no butterfly because it's not really spring yet where Okay, I'm not getting rid of the butterfly. I like him. We'll just hide him. And I'm going to hide this in case I need to do that anything any more. Okay, how how is this? Let me save it because it's kind of awesome, I think. Cricket Groundhog Day. If you guys want this file, come over to YouTube Live right now. I'm going to share it with you. Otherwise, my supporters will get it. But I think you can only get it when I'm live in the chat. I'm not sure if it will work when we're not live. If it does, there it is. How did you hide? You can hide anything you want. Let me unhide. By that is selected and then clicking the eyeball right here. See where my mouse is over in the layers panel? Click that eyeball and it's hidden. And it will always stay there. And then when I go to make it, remember that's print, it will print this and cut this. Now, if, let's do another, um, let's make this a card 
And let's pretend we don't want to cut it out. We just want to make it a card. Hold on. Um, let's do the sizes up here. So the width, let's do uh, 6.75 to put it on a 5x7 card, and we will do 4.75 for the height. Does that fit? No. So we're, we're going to make this white, and let's put the grid on so you can see it. We're going to arrange that to the back. So I want to make this fit on a 5x7 card. I'm just going to select this all and shrink it up a little. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move that out, shrink that up a little more. Put that on a card. Okay, so now I'm going to select it all and I'm going to flatten. So now it will print all of this and cut around this. So I'm going to click make it. And now uh, that's the only one I have. It's going to, I can continue. I can click send to printer. And on mine, I like to go to advanced settings. This may look different on you, depending on what computer you have. Let me move this over so you can see it. So I always put it on best quality, and I have to do my rear tray so I can manually feed it in because I'm choosing heavyweight paper, which is cardstock. And then I will click print, and then I'll have to go over there and put some cardstock in, and it will cut out my square that I want cut. But we're going to cancel. We don't need to cut that. And cancel. So does that make sense? Yay, Joan has the design. And you guys, we all made this together. Stacy says if his shadow's in front of him, he could see it. Uh, do we want to try that? So if I want to edit this, I can just unflatten it, click down here at the bottom, and this is flattened. So I have to select this and unflatten that. And now I can move his shadow, if you want it in front of him, Flip it vertical. There, now he can see his shadow in front of him. And you can change it up. You know, do what you want. So he can see his shadow here. Great idea to put it in front of him. You guys are all on Facebook asking, can the shadow be flipped in front of? Sorry, I didn't see your. Um, you can get the file on YouTube in the chat. You might have to watch the video again. Yes, please save it as private and do not share this file outside of this video. Isn't it cute? We do have seasons. It was really cold here last week. I think the high on one of the days was like 55. And but it it gets freezing here. Last year I lost my flowers because of the freeze. Do 
Do we have any other questions? Who here, raise your hand if you learned something new today. Will this be updated to reflect NWE changes? I don't know what NWE is. I don't know what changes you're talking about. This is the most updated design space. What font did you use? Babette. You can see right here, text, Babette. It's a Cricut font. I did show how to make the shadow, so if you did um, miss it, um, then you can rewatch that part of the video. The font is called Babette. It's right here, B-A-B-E-T-T-E. -E. It's a Cricut Design Space font. Jahak Bart, don't worry about it. Just don't share it with anyone else. Oh, and W.E. was a typo. Okay, I'm going to put the file back. So just click on this in the chat. Um, Charmaine, you are now a moderator because you're always trying to share wonderful things and we have to keep approving them. How did you detach the butterfly in contour? Um, where's that butterfly? Okay, let's bring the butterfly back. Let's, oh, contours off because he's at print. Let's change him back to no fill and it changes him to cut. Now we can go back and it's got the grass. So anytime you wanna hide part of the image or bring it back, see I just brought it back. Now if I wanna hide, I just click on it. And what I did, well, I think I, Oh, to hide the butterfly, what I did is I hit hide all contours. And then I could bring this piece back or just leave that like that. That's how I hid the butterfly. So if I want both pieces and I want them separately, I just duplicate it. Thank you for subscribing. And hit contour. Um, I think Let's see if this works. Yeah, you can bring them all back with that. And if I just want the butterfly and no grass, I just click the grass. And now he's separate. I think I show this in every single class I do. Catherine, thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. There's the file link again. You just click on it and then it will open up Design Space and you save it to your account. It won't save this one because I have not clicked save since I moved it to the front. It's the one with him and Beck because I think, and I don't remember if it was flattened. If you, the link that you're getting, I don't know if it was print or flattened, but you can click things and unflatten them. See, I unflattened this now. Laura Lee, thank you for pledge. To delete your file projects, um, 
you go to your projects and then you click on the little I and you can delete. Andrea, there's no struggling allowed. Absolutely no struggling allowed. There's no struggle. You just click the images you don't want cut. So let's say I want that butterfly, but I don't want that circle in there cut. Okay, let's say I don't want to do the outline of this butterfly. So I'm going to do this whole thing here. And I have that. There's no struggle. Let's say I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh, then you can just bring it back. This time I got a circle in there. There's no struggling because there's there's no way to mess it up. There's no way to mess it up because it's always there. You can always bring it back. No struggle in crafting. Thank you, Charmaine. If you haven't ever done it before, you are not allowed to say you don't know how to do it. You have to try to do it because a lot of people will watch my video and then they don't remember, but you just have to go there and do it. How do you find out what font you used? Well, this one says it right here, Bobette. But if I were to, um, it's cut, it said it's print. Put it as cut. And you guys, I don't know if that file, you may need to weld this. If I were to weld this, which is something you may need to do, uh, it you can no longer see what font this is. It just says weld result. That's because it is no longer a font. It is now an image. And you can right click on that, go to image info, and right down here, I don't know if you guys can read it, but I can read it because it's kind of grayed out because it's no longer a font. And it didn't come from an image, so it's light gray. But it says Babette. I can read that right there. It says Babette. Did you guys miss something with the sound saying the sound went weird? Yeah, when you want to learn how to do something, watch the video and pause it. After I do something, pause it, and then you go do it. You don't download Cricut Design Space files. You just click on the link. And it will open it up in Design Space and you save it. There's no downloading. This is how I share my Cricut Design Space files. You can get all of my Cricut Design Space files. I want to give a shout Whoops. out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Sorry, we already did that. You can get all of my Cricut Design Space files by supporting my channel either on Patreon, patreon.com slash Melody Lane, or on YouTube, you can click the join button, or on Facebook, there is my Facebook fan page. Um, I don't remember what it says, support, I think it says. There's a link to all three in the description of this video on YouTube. All right, guys, I got some viewer mail. So the first Saturday of every month, I do, I open viewer mail if I have some. So I do, I have one big package from Evelyn. And then I have another something, but uh, we're going to open this live. I don't know what's in it, but it's something from Evelyn. So I know it's wonderful. Um, so 
let's go over we're going to start a new video and i think that video is set up for 12 30 which is 30 minutes from now i'm not waiting till 12 30. we're going to go early uh so join us back next saturday at 11 a.m i also do videos every tuesday and thursday do crafting videos and sometimes i do other videos in between Yeah, I can't wait to open up this box. So let's go do that video. You can go there now. Let me get a link to that video. It's on my channel. If you click on my name, opening viewer mail. Let me share. Okay, there's a link to the next video. You guys can hop on over there and start chatting and it will just take me a few minutes to get there. Not even a few minutes now. I've made it so much better. Thank you, George. Thank you so much. I um, just have to do a few clicks and we will be over in that video. Thank you, Adeline. Yes, the Groundhog Day can be done as HTV. Yep. Uh, Susan asks a great question. What time on Tuesdays and Thursdays? There is no set time because sometimes it depends on um, what I can do. The best thing to do is subscribe to my channel and then click the bell and that turns on notifications when I go live. Or if I upload a video that's recorded. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye.